for my money, Drafts has the most useful Apple Watch complication. You can see I have it here up in my upper left corner. If I tap on the Drafts complication, it gets me to this screen that just has the microphone button. In fact, you can set it so it goes straight to recording when you open the complication, but I actually tap the microphone button. When I do that, I can then dictate a new draft into my Apple Watch. So here goes. The Productivity Project by Chris Bailey. And just like that, I've captured text with drafts. Once I tap the Done button, I save that text to my drafts inbox on all of my installations of the drafts app. So here I am over on my iPad, and you can see there's the draft that I just made on my watch. Now, I could copy and paste that to my list of books to read, but who wants to do that? That's a pain in the neck. You've got to manually copy and paste. Drafts is all about automation. So let's automate that on drafts. In order to do that, I'm gonna go ahead now and just delete it from here and let's build an automation. And fortunately in this case, somebody's already done it for me. If I go to the action list and down and hit the plus button at the bottom, I'm going to visit the action directory. And the action directory is a magical place for drafts because there's a ton of actions that have already been created by folks. And I'm gonna look for one here called add to the list. And you can do the same thing with your installation of drafts. And you can see there's several of these, but the one I want is the one posted by Agile Tortoise, which is drafts developer. And that's the uh, fourth one down here. I'll go ahead and tap on it. And it gives me a description of how it works and uh, will, you know, even gives me the code, but I'm just gonna hit the install button. I'm not gonna rewrite it here. And I'm gonna put it in the sample actions list. And you can see it just got added to the right side. So now when I go to add my books, it's much easier. So I'm gonna go back now to that dictation I did on my watch. Then I'm gonna open the action directory and click add to list. And now I've got this cool script. I'm gonna select books. And then once I go over to books, you'll see that the productivity project by Chris Bailey has been added. It was that easy. So it's just that action directory that took all of the work out of it for me. I'm gonna do one more. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, create a new draft. And I'm gonna put in another book by Chris, Hyperfocus, which is a cool book he wrote. And you can see it put a space in there. There actually isn't a space in the title, so I'll take that out. And then I'm gonna run the action one more time. Add to list, put it in my books. And now when I go to my books list, you'll see there it is. So that's pretty cool. Another thing I can do with drafts is add tags. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a tag here called books. So this books list has the books tag. If I search for the books tag, I'll find the list. In addition to letting me search the tag, it gives me some additional clever tricks. And I'm gonna show you that in just a minute over on my iPhone. So here I am on the iPhone, I'm going to add a new draft, and this one is going to be a movie title, Indiana Jones. And because add the list also works with movies, all I have to do is press the button. So can you see why I love the drafts action directory so much? People have made some amazing drafts actions that you can just download and start using today. Another cool feature in drafts is workspaces. So let's build a workspace around books. I'm gonna go into the workspaces menu, select new one, then I'm gonna type in books. And once you create a drafts workspace, you can then later access it very easily with just one button. And we're looking for the tag books. Anything with the tag books lands into this workspace. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna give it an icon and a color. So gotta scroll down, find a little book icon, tap on that, and then I'm gonna pick the color orange and I'm off to the races. So there's nothing else to do. I'll click done and back and then done once again. And now when I hit the workspaces button in the lower left, I've got an option there for books. If I tap on that, you're gonna see there's a list of my books. So I can get back to that books space anytime I want. I can even attach it to the widget on my screen so I'm gonna go down to the templates widget button and turn that into the books button. All I have to do is switch it to the books workspace and it even gets that orange icon color. 
And as soon as I tap on it, it opens up drafts showing me my book's workspace. Very useful if you've got workspaces that you go to frequently. You just put them on your home screen and you can jump to them with drafts. Okay, now I'm over on the Mac and just for giggles, let's run this action on the Mac. As we saw on the iPhone and iPad, I've got movies, books, and TV show lists. I'm gonna go ahead and add something to the TV show. So I'm gonna hit Command N to start a new draft and type in The Mandalorian, because I like that show. And then I'll go ahead and say Add to List and put that on TV shows, and it's done. If I go to my TV show list, there it is. Shame on Apple for not having Mandalorian in the built-in dictionary. Now I could have, instead of saving my books list of drafts, I could have appended it to a list in Dropbox or put it in other locations on the cloud. Draft supports those types of export, but I like keeping it in drafts because with drafts you get that immediate capture and the beauty of these drafts actions that people have created. It's almost like writing little programs inside the program just for your text. And there's so many great options in that drafts action directory. I find drafts to be the shortest path to getting an idea out of my head and into my digital ecosystem. This is just one example, but there are so many different ways you can collect lists and ideas with drafts. If you haven't tried it out yet, head over to getdrafts.com today and check it out.